So wonderful when they hear uh, the welcome message like that eh? because it will it will uplift their spirit. Eh? Amen. <laughs> and greetings to those of you that usually join us. You don't belong to uh, New Methodist, nor do you belong to any denomination. But for Sunday, you say to yourself, okay, I'll put this time aside just to, yeah. you know, tune in and uh, take a bit of a spiritual thing like for my take for the whole week. So we would like to welcome you this morning. Yes. And thank you. Maybe hang over from your grog last night, wash down a bit, and you still, you know, either or don't know whether you're coming or going, but we want to welcome you this morning and thank you for joining in. And maybe those of you that are listening from the hospitals and uh, also in the prison, we believe that you are... You know, you were sitting on your need. Not only that, you were, some of you are, feel too sick and too weak to even utter a prayer. And uh, this morning, we would like to mm. welcome you. Uh, thank you for joining in today. And uh, also to the New Methodists, I believe today is uh, Western, Western Mission Sunday. Mission Sunday. Uh, very interesting. From last night, beginning to see the posted uh, preparation from uh, last night all over. Uh, Fiji. Yeah. So I would like to say thank you. No, well, we came to no live in the northern. I believe you beat a bit of the Western Division. Uh, your preparation, posting it, it's very encouraging. Uh, to our mm. lives as leaders, because we see you even in the vicinity of just uh, worshiping as a family, but yet, the uh, yeah, the preparation and the uh, extent that you go to, uh, to prepare. And we believe as you do, you're actually creating an atmosphere at home of, you know, for God to dwell. And mm. uh, we take this time to welcome you. We're not going to be able to do it. We're to We are just worshiping from our individual homes. Oh. And, um, and I believe that we're all adhering to what we need to do. There's not supposed to be any worship center, no zone. Are we supposed to be worship only as uh, families uh, today? So uh, we would like to uh, go straight into uh, the program today. We usually call this uh, God of Our Nation program on the Kingdom Economics, yeah. uh, as well as Against All Odds. There's Against a lot all. of odds, a lot of odds. You may be listening in um, from abroad, outside Fiji, all over the world, maybe through your phone or maybe through uh, other gadgets that you are using right now. We would like to say, um, Bulevinaka. And thank you. Bulevinaka Maiviti. And uh, thank you for joining us today. In England, in Europe, uh, it's your evening, the night before. So uh, we would like to also welcome you yeah. if you're still awake and still tuning in. Or maybe you'll get to hear this message later uh, when you wake up on, a sun on your Sunday, Sunday morning. morning. So we would like to welcome all of you, New Zealand, Australia, Vanuatu. Uh, we welcome you, uh, Europe, Northern yes. uh, Ireland, uh, Scotland and Germany, Romania and Cyprus. Uh, we stand today to welcome you. Also, for the virtual zone, we have um, Manila, we have Tangas uh, uh, Tico all the way in Manila, uh, as well as the Marshall Islands, um, Bulivinaka, Rendintal Tangas Dakambea, and the Cook Islands, Rendintal Tangas in Nancy Dakadaka. We would like to welcome all of you. And not forgetting American Samoa, we have Antia Set and the Vetawalu. So we would like to welcome all of you. Not forgetting Hawaii, Bulivinaka, uh, Sine Pastor Vika Fatuma from the Bigfoot Island. Uh, we stand today to say thank you uh, for everything that you continue to do and uh, welcome uh, to the service today. 
today. And we believe, you know, that God is helping you in everything that you're doing out there in uh, Bigfoot Island, all the way in Hawaii, and um, the big place of the mainland uh, America. Bolivinaka, to our team out there, Tangas Chavez, Nanti Sylvia, Senior Pastor Sisi Ronronro, Susan Senior Pastor Eleanor Coronara, we welcome all of you. And I believe you're all looking forward by the month of September, we will be having two uh, injections of two very good senior pastors all the way from Fiji. They will be joining you uh, there in America. And like this, maybe in October, uh, by the end <coughs> of uh, September, we will be welcoming uh, Talanga Simbal and Auntie Francis, and not forgetting Auntie Anna and Talanga Stevang, who will be joining uh, our team in America. We are looking forward because we believe uh, it's for the kingdom extension and it's kingdom positioning. Yeah. So today we would like to welcome all of you. Forgive us if we have uh, missed any of you for New Methodists. Uh, we can't get it. And today's the first Sunday of September. And also they celebrate the Father's Day today. Oh, yeah, you have that. There are a lot of people called Father. But it's take a special person to be called dead. dead. <laughs> and I know you're logging in today. Uh, for those of you, you know, uh, looking forward to the celebration today of your father. And uh, it's Father's Day. Everybody's preparing for it, and everybody's got their gift packs, or maybe uh, you know, treating dead to a breakfast in bed today. But I believe for fathers, it's like Father's Day every day because you get the treatment every day. You get special meals every day. And uh, so today we are actually acknowledging it. Niko na singa tamadi tama. We can have a bunga, we can have a two, we are walking, some of we can have a sinti kwa kete manda, and so, and the wasi kete tono containment area, na bora, some of we can have a valangi, na turanga na tamanda, leza kataka, so we can have a chikongo baka viti naini. We stand today to wish you all the best on the Father's Day celebration today, or maybe some of you have just recently lost their dad. We also mourn with you, and we pray that God is going to give you peace, because we know that you're going to miss your dad so bad, and I believe, or we believe, that God can give you that peace that surpasses all human understanding. So to all the dads uh, logging in today and watching this program, happy Father's Day. The Bible says that we have a heavenly father Yes. <laughs> that looks after uh, our welfare every day. So to those that uh, lost their father or something happened yeah. to, the the father family, to the fatherless. And uh, the Bible says he's the father to those that uh, yeah. have no father. Yes. So be rest assured, whatever happened or some people say, say celebrate today, but those of you that you have a different story for the day today, you are rest assured that you have a dead that is close to you than the close yeah. that you are. So we wish you, everyone, for happy Father's Day today. Hallelujah. And uh, regardless of the situation that you're going yeah. through, regardless of uh, the problem that are in front of you, remember there is a Father that is in heaven that looks after you. Never sleep, no slumber. Mm. And his end is not too short and has a victorious end. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, against all odds, there's a lot of odds around you, a lot of odds in terms of uh, lack in the house, uh, lots of odds in uh, losing your job, you cannot keep up with your mortgage, uh, your payments is just overwhelming, uh, electricity being cut off, water, there's no water, they cut off the water because the odds there is, uh, you know, uh, in front mm. of you. And I believe uh, a lot of us are going through those struggles as we speak today. Mm. And we believe I mean, the Bible is there. God is there. We worship him. He's not just a God on a Sunday or a God for you to uh, uh, call out to him and say, no, I need help or uh, just somebody that is out there. We believe that this God, you know, he looks forward and you must create that uh, communication and that relationship that he becomes part of your life because the odds of life will never go away. Maybe we're going through this pandemic, uh, you know, the volume is too much or very high and uh, later on in life, maybe we think normalized, the odds will never go away. There's always an odd every day or every way uh, that you're going to face and we believe and we want to encourage you today, whatever odds that you're facing right now, there is no other better way and there is no other better solution but trusting in the power of the Holy Spirit and trusting in the power of the name of Jesus. And that is the name that we want to advertise, promote, and also get you to believe today because there is no other yeah. God like him. The Bible says for those that believe in Jesus, they have been given the right or the authority yes. to be called the children of God. Yes. So we access God through Jesus. Mm. And for those that believe in Jesus, the name Jesus, they worship Jesus, they are automatically 
go into the family of God. Mm. As we celebrate the day today, yes. we can say that we are the children of the Most High God because we believe in Jesus. So that is the name that uh, uh, it's a game changer. This is the Hallelujah. name that brings us to the realm of God. Amen. And we access to the blessings of God because we believe the name of Jesus. Oh. So regardless of the odds, yes. we just have to receive Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. Amen. As our Lord and our Savior. When we treasure the name Jesus or when we worship this name, we allow him to be our Lord and our Savior. Then the blessing of God, mm -hmm. the blessing of Abraham, the sevenfold Hallelujah. blessing becomes ours. Yes. Because we are setting the condition and he will send the provision. I like the, the phrase when you say, you know, like it's written in the Bible that he becomes our father. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we are his children. And we're talking about Father's Day today. Yeah. You know, some people will be, or some children will be watching, or even adults like us and say to themselves, you know, I lost my father on a very early age. Or some of you may not even know the name of your father. You may be a child of wedlock and he's still guessing, you know, who do I belong to? I know only my grandmother and my grandfather looking after me. I don't really know, you yeah. know, uh, where do I come from? So you may be, you know, asking questions, all those kind of questions, but I like the fact that you say that we become his children. We, we become the family of God. Yes. The inheritance, not only the name, not only the place. The Bible says we belong to the family of God. Hallelujah. That means when we belong to the family of God, the cattle of the mountain belongs to him. Yes. So we hold the inheritance. Yes. That's why against all odds happened to us because of that inheritance. Amen. We are the child of the most, most high God. God. Yes. Because of Okay, I'll, I'll shoot it back to the dead. <laughs> eh? And say like physically, uh, say Robert. Robert is our camera person today. Uh, Robert has got a dad and has got a, uh, you know, a mom. And when he wants something, or, you know, on how normal children can be, they'll automatically ask their dad yes. or they'll ask, ask their mom. But we have some that are actually watching today. They don't have anybody that they call dad or they don't even know their name or, you know, like the family is not normal. And today, when you're sharing that, I mean, it's an assurance that they even have a father uh, that is greater. And when you say, like, he gives you, you know, like you have authority of his creation. <laughs> Robert may be asking his dad, uh, but his dad can be limited in the things that he can give Robert. Yes. But for, for this, not only for the children, they do not have a father, but as we become God's children, it's very, you know, like it's limitless what you can get out of him. That's why Jesus said, do not worry about what Hallelujah. you eat. Do not worry about what you drink. Do not worry about what you wear. Yes. Because you have a heavenly father that knows Hallelujah. what's good for you. Yes. Whether you ask or not, he knows what's good for you. Amen. We can ask what we want. He gives what, what we need. need. Yeah. So that is the beauty about Surrendering your life to Jesus yes. Christ. Amen. Not, not only that your name is written in the book of life. After this life, yes. you go to heaven. Even when you are living on, on this, the face of the earth, yes. yes. You are walking like anybody else. Hallelujah. Your father knows what's good for you. So what happened ahead of you, he knows. Everything happened, happened to the goodness of For those, those who, love who love the Lord. That's why the Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and, and the, the word, word was God. God. Everything that happened, yeah. happened according to the Word. Yes. He makes everything happen. And that Word, His name is Jesus. So when you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, Hallelujah. you are healing to become a children of God. Amen. And the Bible says, Paul is writing and said, you have the authority to call God Abba, Father. Amen. So you call God Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hallelujah. I like that. I really like that. Yeah. You know? So those that know that, that, that yes. is the secret in John 1, 12. Yeah. The Bible says, for those that believe in this name, they are given the right Amen. and the authority. Amen. That means the inheritance, the authority for me to call Abba Father. That's why when we go, during that, that when we were still young in the Lord, we go to other churches. We yeah. go to this church, we go to this church, yeah. because that church belongs to our Father. Yes. And if it belongs to our Father, we are also yeah. belonging. Yeah. Yeah. We go to CMF, we go to our yeah. nation, we go to Assemblies of God, we go, wherever they worship our Father, 
they become our brothers. Amen. Because we belong to the same father. Yeah. And the same family. Same family. Yes. We are the same family. Yeah. Because when, the, when God speaks, he's speaking not to the church, the denomination. He's speaking to the church, the children of God. Hallelujah. We are the children of God. And I like the way my TV is accepting all the churches to come. Yeah. Because that is the platform belongs to a family. Yes. It's a family. Yeah. Just like for us, we have eight brothers. We belong to a same family, a same yeah, father, yeah. just like the church. So everybody that are watching, Hallelujah. regardless, they go to church or not. When they believe in Jesus, they become belong to the family of God. Yes. You only go to church because you want to nurture, you want to fellowship, yeah. but you belong to the family. Hallelujah. You belong to the kingdom of God. Yes, you belong to the kingdom, and that is why we call it the kingdom economics. Hallelujah. Because you belong to the kingdom. Um, say, for instance, like we, we're trying to share, we'll bring it closer to you, Hallelujah. closer to you. Let them belong to yeah. the yeah. family <laughs> of God. Yes. They belong to a family. Hallelujah. Especially in the Father's Day. Yeah. You know on how you quickly run to your dad. I want that, I want that, you know, regardless of the age that you, as you grow you oh, keep on running, keep on running. <laughs> and then as you age, you know, and it's like, okay, uh, Dad, can I you just start it off? And then and you see the expressions again, okay, I'll stop. You know, this kind of indication that comes to you and said, okay, enough asking. And uh, But for this God, he's just so amazing. Oh, and sometimes maybe you're listening to us today, I just go for everybody, uh, all over the world, wherever you're logging in mm. from. You know, sometimes you say, okay, I'm praying, you know, I'm fasting, but nothing seems to happen. You know, like it's not happening. And uh, if he is my father, then why he is not giving? You know, you'll have all those questions and all those uh, doubt in your mind. But he knows exactly what is good for you. Like what Gasile was just shared with us, you know, he does it. And that's according to the, you know, the truth sure, of the word. Yes. That everything he does is to benefit us. It may be bad in the sense that we describe it. Uh, you know, you may be, it may be painful, yeah. you can be crying. But whatever it is and how hard and how bad it is, always remember that it's supposed to be for your goodness. He does it for you uh, to benefit you because you belong to his kingdom and you are his child. And, you know, um, he, he looks at you and he said, okay, you're asking. Because you're asking on the other side, but he's trying to, to change you on the other, you know, yes. on the other side. Because he wants you to prepare that condition uh, for him to come and for you to receive the full potential of being his child. And mm. you need to take that on. Because yesterday, you know, what got me when uh, Te, Te Somalua, all the way from the Northern Ireland, I mean, Northern uh, Division, uh, in Lambasa, we had this, uh, you know, stand youth out. stand-out program at about 11, yeah. I think at uh, 11 o'clock yesterday. Yesterday, I mean, it happens every Saturday. Uh, what struck me, what he uh, mentioned yesterday, he said, you know, I always want to go to this uh, boarding school, uh, an all-male boarding school, and he lives in Lambas. He wants to come across to Viti Levo. And uh, I didn't go. Uh, I, I couldn't get through. And then he said, but later on in the years, I did. Um, and he said, when I did, you know, he used to hear the devotion, uh, hear a thing in the, you know, in his uh, class. And then he asked, you know, how do you get to, to be the person Lido, to, be, to lead or, share. or to share the word, uh, which, you know, he was introduced to. And from then on, like, he became the, the go-to person to be doing that yeah. like he stood out you know he stand out in every sense of the word and even though he was asking and desiring to go on the earlier stage of his life, maybe he was still in year nine, you know, year 10, God didn't allow that. But he allowed that moment, you know, when he's um, up to year 13 or year 12 for him to come yeah. across and to be boarding it, you know. And as you listen today, you know, we may be asking God uh, certain a things. Lot of things. Yeah, and then he looks at you and he knows that you're not ready. It's not a kind of the Kerete Kubikwen, the Tangiri Kubikwen, or Kangere the Menonondorumbula, Eva Kaisi, Alo. Our father always answer prayer. Amen. He will say yes, yeah. he will say no, he will say wait. wait. Yeah. We cannot give Lekela a hundred dollar note, but we can give Joshua a twenty dollar note because he's in year eleven. Yeah. So you cannot give to your children something that they cannot handle for yeah. the time being. Yes. Even though that we can give or belongs to, we can put in the bank. That's where the, the Lord see our maturity. He answer our prayer according to our maturity. Amen. Because say if somebody given a 10,000, 20,000, but he never gives his tithe. No? How can that person look after the big thing when he's not honest enough or mature enough to look after the small things. Yeah. So 
For those that are watching, we have a heavenly father Hallelujah. that always answer our prayer, yeah. depending on our level of maturity. When, yes. So when we talk about setting the condition, it's a condition of maturity. Amen. It's a condition of obedience. Because he always reminds the children of Israel, after all, remember what I have done. Remember the things I have done. Mm. Remember the, the manna that fall from heaven. Remember, because when they came to Egypt, the land flowing of milk, milk and, and honey. honey. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget the God that nurtured you from those days. Yes. So when we, when we are here this morning, everybody watching, mm. whether they go to church or not, yeah. the the beautiful thing that we have a heavenly father and it's very accessible yeah. through Jesus Christ. Just surrender uh, their life and they belong to this family. Mm. So that's why they have to nurture, listen, and they are setting. When they yes. listen and obey to his word, the Bible says, you will eat the fruit of the land. Hallelujah. So we are setting the condition and God is providing what is his, he will provide. Mm. We do our part and God will bless us because that is part. Yeah, you may be listening to us this morning and then you say to yourself, you know, I really lo uh, lose out on a dad uh, because I don't have a dad. I don't have anybody to call dad. Or I don't have a dad to, to talk to or to ask uh, anything that I would want, like a normal child or a normal, uh, you know, an adult. So if you're listening to us today, so make a way to help you to struggle. But you say, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. So you can miss out, you can lose out on a lot of things because you don't have a father. But this morning we want yes. to recommend oh, yeah. and offer you there is a oh. greater father, mm. greater father. Because this father, what he gives and what he does to you is far, far greater than Go your Russia. physical dad can do for you. Far greater. It's unfathomable. You're Oh, it's amazing what he can do. This father is amazing. Uh, for me, because I got to know, I lost my father when I was only 13 years old. So I got this relationship uh, with him that he was my father. My father. Not my father when I approach him because I'm praying, but my father that I rely on him uh, mm. because he's my father. It's very hard to describe it, but I can relate to you if you're asking me today, you know, how can you do that? Or, you know, I don't know how to ask of him, but try. Because I'm, I'm well, actually yeah. sharing my experience. When my father died, my father, I was very close to my dad. Uh, youngest of the fifth uh, a sibling, uh, very close to my dad. And I wait on my dad every time that he comes home. We were very, very close. Uh, my father is a carpenter and he builds churches or he builds homes uh, in the weekend or in the evening when he comes back from work, then he will go. And I'll always follow him. I've got three brothers, but none of them follow my father or, or close to my father. I know how to paint. I know the level. I, I work with my dad. I know how to uh, build a house. I know how to, you know, like a normal boy would do. That was me because I was so close to my dad. And then all of a sudden he's taken. I'm, I'm, you know, sharing my story because maybe you have gone through the same or maybe you don't know what it feels like not to have a dad, but I know what it, you know, what he did to my life. When that happened, and we were very private, we don't have uh, people that we call auntie and uncle that we can go to or, you know, or, or mix with or do the, the socialize. Uh, we were very private. So when my, my dad passed on, I didn't have anything. I, I mean, anybody. I only have my mom and I also have my siblings. But one thing I did, I start searching deeper uh, for this God because I, I always do remember my father talking about God and we were, you know, church going, uh, very staunch in our walk with God. We belong to a Methodist church and my father is a Vakatawa Niloto. So um, spiritually, we were well grounded. And when he passed on, we know, uh, mm -hmm. I know the truth. I was only 13, 13 years old, but I know exactly, you know, what to do, where to go. I know that there is a God. I already know that. But the physical essence of having my father removed from the equation was unbearable. So what I did, I, I pushed myself further to know him more. And, and that is why I can openly and confidently uh, share with you father. today, there is no other father like your God. There is no other father like mm. him. I talk to him all the time, even to sit on my, you know, sit my exam or to have meal on the table. Or if I come home and I'm sad or I come home, you know, there's not enough things at home. Um, to, or if I'm tired, I'm always talking to him. So I developed a relationship with, with God like, like I would do to my dad. 
and the little conversation that I usually do with my dad, I do it with him. And I remember one night, I, you know, I was sitting on the steps, it was dark, and I kept on talking because I was talking to him. I was talking to God, and I was telling him, not praying, not closing my eyes, not sitting, you know, like in, in that position that you're praying. I continue to talk because I have, uh, you know, taken yes. on yeah, uh, that relationship. Mm. So, and then uh, the only thing I could hear was my mom calling out, and then I had my brother come out and said, what's wrong with you? And I said, okay, what is it? And said, we can hear you talking from a sudden, and when you come in, no one is sitting here with you. Who are you talking to? And when I looked at her, and I said, I'm talking to God. And, you know, it, it sounds yeah. crazy. It sounds selfish then. But that became my life. Uh, and that is why I'm, I'm always con confidently sharing it in the church and can share it with you today that I know him more than I could think of. I, I know him more. I can hear him. I hear his voice. I, I can see things before it happened. Uh, you know, he guides me. He became my life. And he beca became my father. He's real. Uh, yeah. My 30 years old, when I lost my dad, this God became my dad. He became my dad. Um, the big and the lows, the high and the lows, the big and the small, uh, the needs, he became my dad. Uh, even if I'm going to the shop and I'm standing there, you know, I don't have any money in my pocket, and I'm saying, man, I would love that. I would love that. You know, um, Lord, I would love that. You know, it's always been thinking. I've reached that stage that when I communicate with him, uh, and not in the essence of just sitting and praying, I can, I can hear him. I can talk to him. And I want to share, which I have shared already, this particular uh, time that I, in, uh, you know, we were in uh, America, and then I flew across to Northern Ireland to my daughter, and sometimes, like, it became so uh, common in my life on my relationship with him, but sometimes, like, I stand back and I said, okay, did, did that just happen? And uh, when I flew across, I only have a uh, hundred dollar U.S. Uh, dollar bill in my pocket uh, to take me back because I need to fly back to L.A. and have uh, one night. Over in LA, then fly back to Fiji because I was traveling on the mm -hmm. Nandi Los Angeles uh, FOC ticket for Air Pacific mm -hmm. then or Fiji Airways, and I, I, I only paid the sector from LA to mm -hmm. um, yeah to Northern Ireland. So we flew down to New York, and it was quite a long flight. And I love my latte, I love my greens, my hot greens. So when I was in the plane. And most of those planes, like you have to buy, you have yes. to purchase your green. The only thing free is water, and the only thing free is just, uh, you know, uh, uh, juice and only one. But you buy everything, buy the peanuts, buy everything. So I, I didn't want to spend any money, but I was just having water. But I, I was really longing for that latte. And for those of you who have travel, oh, or those yeah. of you that are listening from abroad, you know, there's Starbucks all over the place. And I love my latte from Starbucks. Starbucks. And when you also come to Starbucks and place your order, they will ask for your name. They will, uh, you know, uh, take your name, write the name on the car. Now, we got off, I got off in, in New York to connect another flight uh, to go to uh, Northern Ireland. So, and I didn't have much time, and I was rushing to the gate. As I was rushing, in my heart, I continued to say, man, Lord, I really want a latte. I really want a latte. I mean, I don't know anybody there. And I'm in a place that I mean, you don't see anybody that you know. I mean, don't, I don't expect it either. But, New York. Yeah. So kept on walking, looking for the gate, uh, uh, you know, the boarding gate, and keep, keep on running, running, walk, running, walk. And in the process, and I kept on looking at the Starbucks and said, man, I would love a latte, man, I would love a latte. Lord, I would love a latte. I kept on thinking that. And then I reached the gate, and then I saw, okay, that is my gate. When I came there, and I said, oh, I still have 15 minutes. I stood, and I was looking at Starbucks, and I was thinking to myself, I can just break this money. I can buy that, and maybe, and um, I started thinking. As I stood there, I saw this particular European lady. She came, and she said, uh, are you waiting for your flight? And I said, yeah, my, my is leaving the 15 minutes time and she told me she said look i've just ordered a drink but i'm i need to board the plane and i can't take it with me because my hands are quite full please um you don't mind to make use of this one i said oh i wouldn't mind and i said what what drink is it and she gave this cup and on it is written rachel i mean i'm not uh, it's written rachel and i look at it and i said okay and i said what drink is it and she said and she explained she looked at me and said i'm sorry if you don't like it but it's like a half shot and that's i mean people who are listening to me today uh, robert is here in the, behind the camera he does my buying of latte every day and he she just described to say oh it's like a half shot more milk thank you i don't even know her name but she gave the cup and it's written there rachel look
This God sometimes becomes so crazy and, and people will say, okay, you know, yeah, how can that happen? It can happen. can happen. He becomes closer to you and he's your father. If you're a fatherless and you're not staying with your dad, I mean, my grandchildren are listening to me today. Uh, Joshua, Othaniel, and Isha, we had a good uh, fellowship devotion last night. And I know you're listening to me today. Today is Father's Day. You will be missing your dad. You will be missing your dad because your dad is not with you. And that's the same uh, for somebody else that are listening today, not with their dad. I, I talk about, you know, the experiences for my grandchildren because it's very organic, it's there, and it's real. Uh, I'm not here to Photoshop everything that we are good. No, we are not good. We are normal surviving family just like you. We need God more than you do. And if you're listening today and you're missing your dad, I just want to tell you, there is no other dad best or better than the dad that you can have in the Lord Jesus Christ. You will miss your dad. You think of your dad. Because every time that we have our devotion, we'll continue to hear them saying, okay, because we have our gratitude, and that gratitude will never miss uh, uh, for one line of their gratitude, you will say, um, um, you know, I want to thank God for Daddy and Lawa, and thank God for baby uh, Be uh, Bethel, our uh, sister, little sister. And you hear that every night, and you hear that every night. And I know you're listening to me today. Look, I know you're not physically staying together with your dad. Or for those of you that are not physically together with your dad. Over but today, all over the world, you may be listening in and say, oh, I miss my dad so badly. Look, there is no other better dad than him. Because he fills both. He fills up in the physical sense of your need, and he also fills you up on the spiritual essence of your need. Some things only your dad can do in the physical, but this God, he does both, and he can meet your need. And if you're having that resentment and bitterness towards your daddy uh, because he walked out on you or because he walked out on your family today, or it's hard, it's difficult, you're crying out and you said, how dare, how can this happen to me? How can God allow this to happen to me? But things happen. Things happen, and sometimes when you stand and you look at your father uh, having another ch other children and having another family, and sometimes the pain can be so unbearable. Uh, to see your father happy with somebody else's children, and here you are missing that relationship so badly. Regardless of the situation that you're in, Against we would like odds. to recommend to you, because that is the order of life. Mm. Look, rise above it and say to yourself, I'm not going to allow this resentment and bitterness to define my future or to take away the goodness of God in my life. Stand up today and say, no, I I'm going to serve this God well because he's going to be the father to the fatherless and he's going to give me anything and everything that I ever desire according to the season of my maturity and according to the season that he sees fit to bring about the full potential in you. So we can then itum itum the bakarano itum na mantaka ni singa vina kaniko. So we can then the numa nolvenda. E so we can then the some the be tikumbe kanga na karo ni watinda katole ni watinda. The sangule the biro na lovenda na mena duin duin bo noa re tiko bolikin. The singa ni ko mena na kila tiko iro na lovenda dona kana na nando revi kenda zake. E rabarongo na vika enda the buta. E sonongo na vakaira e mavono bula terreno bula. Some be kana kaya enda the buta biro vaka mavoa tikir na singa ni viki leira. E ngo endo na ngo na vina ka na singa and do not sing a tambinaka, mend the Liada no non de Tabin, do not sing a tambutala babinaka, mend the Mokota no Luenda, mend the Kavira. You know, today is the best Father's Day because I'm sitting with you, and the condition there is, I don't have any other place to go, but I'm here with my family. Oh, hallelujah. When you pray to your Father in heaven, Amen. the Bible says that He hears you. Amen. Because He never too short to help, yes. never too short to uh, assist, never too short to save. Amen. And he also hear you wherever you are. You don't need a telephone. Amen. You don't need a landline. You don't need a mobile. All you do is to speak to him. Hallelujah. And he listens to our prayer. And that's why it's very important when you face through the odds of this life, mm. the things that you seems like it's impossible. Amen. But remember, your father in heaven can do everything. Hallelujah. The Bible says nothing is impossible mm. with God. And he is the God of all mankind. Is anything too difficult Hallelujah. for him to do. So the, the against all odds that we are facing, there are certain things in your life that you cannot do anything about it. Amen. You cannot control. Mm. You don't have any authority. Yes. But your heavenly father knows that. Hallelujah. Your heavenly father, he promotes and demotes king. Amen. The rulers, the leaders, everything in this planet is upon Amen. him. He is 
the ruler of everything, and he's the creator of everything. He owns everything. And because of his word, he supports everything. Hallelujah. So nothing is too difficult for God. So when Jesus was speaking to the multitudes, do not worry about what you eat. Mm. Do not worry about what you drink. Amen. Do not worry the clothes that you put on. Yes. Because your heavenly father Hallelujah. knows what is good for you. Yes. He said, when you worry about what you eat, drink, and wear, that is the characteristic mm. of heathens. Hallelujah. So when you're listening and watching this program against all odds, the kingdom economics, mm. this is where God cuts into our natural world. Hallelujah. And it depends on us. Hallelujah. Poka sangarato manda na matantuni kalu e vosa saratunga o kwa na itoke ni matantuni kalu Hallelujah Poka duka kuni langa tangongo duka kuni wari tangongo duka kuni mo za tangongo Do poka sangarato manda na matantuni kalu The kingdom of God has Jesus as king Amen. He's a lord he's a god he's a messiah he's a savior he's our friend Tunoga poka sangarato manda na matantuni kalu ke na no na ya londondoro Amen Bala bala ni mbula Tuna ka ke nga ngori na ka ndo wari taka tukongori that is, that is very simple testimony. In New York, somebody bought a latte, the mix that you want, yeah. and it's written there, Rachel. Bake. And imagine, and like what you call, we can eat with a cake or tico. And then to know exactly which cave yeah. he's in. The Nabuna Kabuni to Kino Elats, I wouldn't need to go there. Nabuna Wuni to Kino Elats, I live to be Nabin Garabatu. You know, Monomo Kila Sartuna, Nabuna Wuni. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I like that. <laughs> so, whenever you watch it, yes, he as a knows family, exactly. he knows exactly the num lot number, yeah. no mu flat number, oh, no mu street number, yes. and a num town number. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing. <laughs> How, how can that immigration officer in Tel Aviv in Israel asking a Fijian British Army, birth in Fiji, working as a British Army officer? Hallelujah. Ni nomumbula ni sayazo ni nomu ya zamu ki na nomu passport ki na nomu ticket number ebu no yisireli kemba le ombera ni gai royani satubira ni tukutungo na banu aka no rakalo na kalo kero katingo kemba le ndro ni ulume na botu ni ulume ki ah hallelujah o kwa me buki me bula bula so na ulugu za bulu bulu so na ulugu ta nga sa sa miriti hallelujah sarto mbimbio ya bo ka tala tu na kalo so you get yes. wiser yeah. and you get uh, uh, more handsome Hallelujah. as you grow. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Why you worry so much? Yes. The, the Bible says, Jesus said, don't worry because you not give uh, uh, one single second, yes. one single minute, Longer than or your one life. single yeah. hour of your life. Hallelujah. So don't worry. You have your heavenly father oh, that knows all your record. Yes. That's why your fingerprint is different from all the seven yeah. billion people in the world. 
Sera ni ndua na kawa maibi tamamu. Sera ni ndua na kawa maibi tinamu. Metoto watu na mwenda ufinga pula. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's why we are so different. We are peculiar. We are written in the book of oh, God. Hallelujah. Before we come. His Bible says, I knew you before you were formed. Amen. Or conceived in your mother's womb. Because we are special. You, you are listening today. You are special. Hallelujah. Regardless of the situation that you're facing. Regardless of the sinful life that you enjoy. But remember, you have a heavenly father waiting for you. When Jesus talked about the, the lost son in Luke chapter 15, Jesus is talking about our father that is waiting every day. Hallelujah. Because you and me, we go and look for, uh, yeah. for joy. We look for money. We look for things in the world. We ran out from our father's house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Until we end up in the pigsty. Hallelujah. And he's always waiting. And he's always, the Bible says, when he saw him, he recognized him. Ronga da biyakani. Mataka ni singa nindai, nangau nangau baga yoki na mole suwa na kalu. Hallelujah. Kani voltambu. He ran, he hugged, kissed, and he said, bring the fat cow. Bring the ring. Let bring the shoes. And good clothes, new clothes. Let us celebrate because my son was dead, now alive. He was lost. But now he has found. Hallelujah. Our heavenly father is waiting for everyone. Amen. Because he know the moment you come back and receive Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You access like you have the card to the ATM. I think that's a good comparison. Amen. When you receive Jesus Christ as your personal savior and you honor Jesus as your king, your Lord, your savior. It's just like that you have access to call to him, father. Hallelujah. It's me. You know that I'm a sinner, full sort of your glory every Amen. day. Hallelujah. So why wait for, for other rainy days yes. to make you wet and make yeah. you soggy? This is the time that you will belong to the family of God. You belong to the family of God. You're sitting there and watching this program is never a mistake. Hallelujah. This program, we believe that God allow this program against all odds, against all the things that you're going through, regardless of the problem that you're facing right now. We are standing here encouraging you against all odds. Mm. Yeah. Against all odds. Maybe both of you, husband and wife, for how many months now you have no work, no salary, there's zero balance in the bank. Mm. Hallelujah. And you are living on a day to day. How can you live on a day to day without money? You can because our God is alive. Hallelujah. The Bible says man does not live on bread alone. We need bread, but that's not our life. Our life is in the word of God. We want to encourage you today. When you receive Jesus Christ as your personal savior, you are access to the godly provision. Hallelujah. Our sea, our land, the air that we breathe, the same thing that our forefathers, Hallelujah. even 100 years ago, 20,000 years ago, people already experienced the love of God that we are experiencing today. So cheer up. Stomach in and chest out. Smile and tell the person next to you that my God is alive. So will I be. I will go through the pandemic. I will go through Hallelujah. the sickness because my God is with me. You can bring on whatever the world want to bring on. But because God is with me, who shall be against me? Hallelujah. When God is on my side, who shall be on the other yes. side? I will go through the mountain. I will go through the valley. Whatever sickness will come, whatever the weather pattern that will come, because my God is with me. You know, when Jeremiah wrote it down in 32, 27, he is the God of all mankind. Yeah. Is anything too difficult for me to, go, to do? You know, when we go through this pandemic and the sickness, coronavirus, or whatever, or oh, next month we'll go through, hallelujah, September, October, next month we'll go through what we call cyclone season. Hallelujah. Whatever the world will throw at you, hallelujah. you must remember that you have a heavenly father. Heavenly father that stay close to you, than the clothes that you wear. Yeah. And believe in him. 
because he hasn't started with you yet or he hasn't finished with you yet. Yes. Uh, there are a lot of things surrounding you. Maybe you're sitting today, you're doubting yourself in the process. Uh, we would like to encourage you. There is no other greater field for you to know that you're being looked after by somebody that you cannot see, but you believe with your heart, you are in good hands because God is actually watching you. Yesterday, we were sharing in the family table talk on how, you know, you plan, you continue to write. And we were sharing on the basis that it doesn't mean that you're working and you're getting your resources from your workplace, only then then you plan because you know exactly what yes. is coming. But for those of you and I who do not get paid or you're on a full time or you don't work at all, you don't need necessarily need to be working in the church, but you whether you are here or you're here, with nothing or with something, uh, write it down. Continue to write. Uh, I would like to share with us today because I believe most of us, we, don't, we are not in the habit of writing. Uh, it's like, okay, I've done all my, the writing that I've ever wanted in school or in, in my studies. Uh, you don't really feel like writing. Or maybe when you write it down, there's... Uh, no faith in you to say it's going to happen or it can happen. Or I don't really need to write it down. I can easily get that. Well, whichever stage that you're in, we would like to encourage you today. As we're talking about our Heavenly Father, we're talking about your yes. Father, we're talking about who He is and what He can be and who He can be to your life. Look, you write it down. Because as you approach Him, as you receive Him as your personal Savior, you write, you write it down. And when you write it down, you write it down with faith. Uh, you know, physical, you can write it how can it happen? I don't have any money. Who's going to be doing this for me? Look, most of the time we try to play God. We, we you know, we try to think how He's going to do it. Second, on a vangarain, or kind of a kabada, and other maybe, or then a sulevikani love, and a lot of maybe, or then a mega kabu God. Evatu and a kind of taronga. With your walk with God, when you have faith, you kabada, you you would trust Him completely. How trust He's going him. to do it? That's him. Leave it to him. That's his job. Uh, don't wreck your brain there. Into, he changed water into I mean, <laughs> He multiplied oh, the bread and the fish. And he called things that yes. are not as, as they, they are. are. So, you know, you can think out a lot of things. You you plan it out. I mean, things start coming, and then you plan. No, you plan now. And that's what we want to share with you today. Yes. In the kingdom economics, you need to write things down. You need to write it down. Because as you pen it down, you're saying to God, I am serious. I would love this. I am deadly serious. I need this. And every time you go to pray, or when you have your prayer in the night before you go to sleep, or have your devotion, or quiet time, or a special time, a special place. Some of us pray, pray in the midnight, at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Uh, some pray at about 11 o'clock. You know, you have a different hours of prayer, just you. Not a devotion. I'm talking about the prayer, just you. So when you do that, you ask him. And I said, Lord, I have actually written this down. And I need you to breathe on it to breath of healing God. So, look, I am actually sharing with you what I always do. Over the years of getting to know him, over the years of my relationship with him, I've Hallelujah. seen it, I've seen it done, I've seen it happen. That it's giving me so much confidence to share with you. Please try it out. Write it down with faith. That's unthinkable. The things that you think to yourself, okay, that's not going to happen. Don't ever allow your doubt uh, to erase your list or to delete your list. Write down. If it's not going to happen this year, it will happen. Maybe next year, maybe the other year. Continue to write it down. Don't completely take it out of the list because no one is perfect. You have your shortfalls. You have other things happening around you. It can be, your list can vary. It can be in the physical essence of uh, gaining things or it can be your spiritual life or the kind of person you are uh, to make you a better person. Maybe some of us, you know, we are grumpy or we're having extramarital affairs or we are punching up our spouses at home or, you know, um, rebellious children, you're not listening to your parents, you don't even want to obey them, or you making faces whenever they're yes. asking you something to do. Uh, you know, those are the things. Don't just write Swelling. the list that you want God to do for you, but you also write down the list that you need God to deal with you. You yes. need God uh, to help you. Because as you do that, you're actually helping to create the condition ready for God uh, to give you the full potential of what only God can do for you. Mm. It's amazing the, you know, the level of what God can do for you because he does that. So apart from that, writing your list, then you need to be doing something. Either you activate it or you do your time we always share it in the Kingdom Economics or the Tuesday, uh, you know, uh, Business House Bible Study. We are always sharing that. That as you work and you're earning or not only working, whatever that you have, a tithe of it. Uh, if you go to the plantation, a tenth. If you go to the sea, a tenth. Whatever that you get, you take it back to your, you know, your pastor, you take it to your denomination when it comes to monetary or funds. Uh, because you have to um, follow and adhere the commandment that you must give a tenth and you must take it back. 
back to your church, or you must take it back to the denomination that you belong to. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the conditions in the making for you to be part of the kingdom economics. It's just not as easy as, okay, I'm going to do that, do that, that. okay, she writes her list, and she writes her list, and it's, you know, happening, that can be mine as well. No, there are certain steps that you need to do. A tula kind of don't the cup. You may be living abroad, and, you know, you struggle when you enter into the country. Things begin to normalize now. You know you, you, you can find your footing. You know you have a show sure footer now, and it's like, okay, I know which direction I'm going to go. And allow God to be part of your plan. Write it down. Maybe the citizenship application. Or maybe, you know, you need to buy a property in the country that you are in. Don't ever limit yourself. Don't ever limit yourself. If it hasn't happened before, then it can happen with you. You write it down. But, the, you know, the, the, the secret is, is you need to have faith. You need to believe. And I really enjoyed the program this morning. Thank you, um, uh, Teacher Lela. From the Assemblies of God, I really enjoyed the children's program this morning uh, at 7 to 8. That was very nice. And then her lesson was on faith. Uh, very enjoyable today. So also tune in for that new program that I've just started today. And that faith, when you have that faith, um, it's not going to waver. Nothing will ever happen to you for you to lose faith and to say to yourself, okay, will that happen or will not that happen? All you need to do is to believe and write that mm. list and continue to ponder, continue to move forward, continue to move forward. If you have been giving your time, you activate, you know, whatever that you desire, whatever that you do, maybe promotion in the workplace, maybe owning a car, or maybe your property need re uh, renovations, or maybe, you know, when, when it rains, you can hear this pouring rain right down to your floor, through the, you know, through your roof. And all those things, when you're looking, okay, it's going to cost me a lot of money to do that. No, all you need to do is do your tithe, and all you need to do is do the right thing and create the condition for God to be able to intervene uh, in your situation. And it's it's amazing because whatever that he can do for you, your mind cannot even fathom the greatness of what he can do. Uh, he can help his school children to, you know, um, be good in the schoolwork. And not mm -hmm. only that, uh, to, to be able to understand what is happening. We had the Zoom yesterday. We had this uh, young girl, this sign band movie all the way from England. He said, she said, sometimes I really miss the teacher. I miss that, uh, you know, uh, uh, communication in, in, the, in the classroom other than just going through the Zoom. The questions you want to ask are things that are not very, very clear and sort of put her off from doing in her Zoom. And, you know, all those things that she was sharing, uh, they were sharing yesterday, I believe they were relatable to the current things that you're uh, going through. And oh, we yeah. also had yesterday, and, I, you know, yesterday we were just thanking them for being um, transparent, and not only that, uh, to share the, the secret things of their life, to for them to take ownership and to say that nothing else got me out of it. It oh, was yeah. just God. And that is the same God that we're trying to talk to you mm -hmm. about today. Uh, I was really humbled with that uh, uh, sharing storyline all the way from New Zealand, we have uh, a Sherilyn Lewanovanoa. And she shared, I was only 20. She was in New Zealand, got into New Zealand, Alice of the sibling of six, and she got pregnant. And when she got pregnant, she tried all ways to try and get rid of that baby because, you know, she had already anticipated uh, the anger and, uh, the, you know, the things that will happen at home, the disappointment from her parents, and she went through. And yesterday when she was sharing, and I was really humbled with that fact, that for her to be confident and bold and be transparent because she knew that whatever that had happened in her life, she found Jesus and she found... Uh, something that is greater than anything else. Hallelujah. They took away the shame. They yes. took away and restore everything. Mm -hmm. and, and I was sharing with them yesterday. Now when we come to New Zealand, they have a nice big home, young couple, and she's got beautiful children. And not only that, you know, she's a senior pastor's wife. You know, on how God can turn around uh, whatever that your is negative. negative to positive. Yeah, and to positive. Yeah. So whatever negative, and those negative <laughs> are your odds this odds, morning. Yeah. So whatever negative that you're facing right now, it can be your finances, uh, it can be rebellious children, or it can be the parents that you always wish to be there but not there or you can be abusive uh, you know uh, parents at home they're always fighting it can be a lot of things that is surrounding you that you begin to say okay these are my odds you know i just have to live with it or i can't get you know a can't stand this kind of thing happening to me. It may whatever the range and whatever, you know, the height and the volume of uh, uh, odds that you have today, we would like to tell you, try the Lord Jesus Christ because this greatest God and the greatest Father, when He reached out to you, there is nothing that you can do. The peace that you feel surpasses all human understanding. Hallelujah. And... And, and you'll never lack anything. You'll lack nothing. Mm -hmm. And that piece, you know, when you know, even when you look in the kitchen, there is no food, or when there is no money, or when you stand at the ATM machine, and then it's telling you insufficient fun. Even in those moments, you have so much peace. Peace that is not given by anybody else, but given by your father, because he is the father to the fatherless. I'll when, give this time to Ngasalevo so I can prepare Holy yeah. Communion. For us that we are watching today, before we go through our Holy Communion, when he said to the devil, 
Man does not live on bread alone. Amen. Bread represents the physical things yeah. that we rely on. Mm. He said, man does not live on bread alone. You know, money or no money. You're good. You're good. Hallelujah. As long as God is with you, because yes. he's a game changer. He turns things around. He blessed the people that they are facing curses Amen. in all their life. So get ready today as you come and commit to the Holy Communion. Yes. Because the Holy Communion is a covenant with God. So bring your list to God. Yeah. So when we partake the bread, when we drink the wine, remember, Jesus said, he said himself to the disciple, when you partake the bread and the wine, remember me. There's a package in what yes. we are doing right now. Hallelujah. And I'm really blessed that every churches are doing a Holy Communion. Yeah. And uh, because Holy Communion, like we just think that Holy Communion is only for the righteous people, only the people they hold position in the church. Did you hear Nathan yesterday? I yes. think that was really neat. Yeah. Now, Nathan Kumar actually shared yesterday he had tested COVID positive. positive. And uh, he was locked up in his room, in their home. And mm. every morning they have Holy, Holy communion, communion and every night they have, have Holy, Holy communion. communion because he is your healer. You know, when you have Holy Communion, uh, you're actually reminding God, you are the covenant keeping God. You are my father. Uh, whatever that I'm sitting on, you are my father. So you, uh, we would like to invite you to be ready mm. with your Holy Communion items today as you uh, join us. And uh, whatever that you're sitting on, you may be hurting so badly because of your dad. You may be hurting so badly because of your family. Or you may be so filled up with so many worries mm. uh, that you don't know where to think. Your pressure is high. Uh, your head is sore. Or you've just recently uh, lost your dad or lost your mom. Uh, certain things that you're going through that uh, there is nothing that we can say from here um, to give you peace or to take away uh, what you're feeling right now. Hallelujah. But we would like to in, uh, invite you. We would like to invite you. Maybe you don't have a pen and a paper there with you. Or maybe you're listening from underneath the tree. Or maybe you're standing in the mountain to get catch that network uh, to be able to hear us today. All you need to do is stand before God and say, Lord, please read my list. Read my list. All you need to do is to refer him to the list. But if you haven't written your list, then you stand before God and tell God, Turanga, you read my mind and read my heart. I'm standing on this. I'm standing on this. So you may be sickly or your family may be sick or maybe some members of your family are sick or your parents are sick, maybe diabetes, maybe cancer, or maybe certain sickness that you, you know, can't get rid of. It's like there all the time. And today is that day. You need to stand. Monduri Navakambota, Monduri Bikoi, Mikokai Bikoi. Lord, I need my prayers answered. Amen. And I want to remind you because you Amen. are the covenant keeping God. Because Gassila will be going to lead us and as you partake, re re receive this. When you take the wine, there is the image of his blood. Amen. And also this is the flesh. When you eat the bread and you drink the wine, you receive that to go through your system and go through your life to cleanse. If you're sick, take it as your medicine. Amen. This is your dose. Take it as your medicine. Lord, you're a covenant keeping God. You're going to heal me. Allow your blood to go through my blood system, go through my organs and heal me uh, completely. Take the bread as your medicine and take the blood or the wine as your medicine. For those of you that are sitting on your list, receive this and tell God, Lord, you're the covenant keeping God. As I partake this, you're going to answer my list. You're going to help me. I receive financial breakthrough to help me clear my bills. I receive debt free and I receive a father bills paid by the power and the authority of your blood and your name. So receive that today. Oh, hallelujah. Let us sit together. And let us drink together. According to his word, bread represents his body. According to his word, Wine represents his blood. And he said, when you do this, remember me. So when we are partaking the Holy Communion, we commit everything to God. Everything, your list, yes, Father. your prayer request, yes. your family, your children, whatever that you wrote down, give it to God. And we believe that God will perform miracles, Amen. signs, and wonders. <coughs> Hallelujah. <clears throat>
Heavenly Father, we come before you today. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, for your covenant. We yes, thank you, Lord. Father, for the bread that we partake, Amen. the wine that we partake. And we also remember the prayer request in the uh, prayer box. Breathe on it, we thank you, Father God, for today. We thank you, Father God, that the list is very clear yes, in your eyes, Jesus, in your presence. Yeah. We commit the life of those that are partaking with us. We commit the life of the prayer request. We commit everyone that are watching, Hallelujah. those that are watching today and those that will watch later. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you put aside, you place aside for this special day Amen. that you are blessing every person, everyone, every family, every couple that are partaking the Holy Communion and also the prayer request. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for the open doors. We thank you, Father, for the blessing. We thank you, Father, for the opportunity. Oh, we thank you, Father, for the healing, healing physically and healing mentally and healing spiritually. We thank you, Father, for today. Yes, Father. We thank you, Father, for your blessings always upon us and overtake us in every time that we come before you. Amen. Thank you for washing away our sins. Yes, Lord. Thank you for accepting us. We are sinners fall short of your glory. Amen. And we stand here saying thank you to you. Thank you for our nation. Thank you for our leaders. We give you the glory and the honor and the praises Amen. to be yours and yours alone. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray and everyone say amen, amen and, and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening in today oh, and thank Christ you for joining us. Jesus. And we would like to farewell you today and we meet you again next Sunday. But if you're free this afternoon, we have a three o'clock session. Usually in Gosele, we take that session, but today only we have the women coming in. Uh, they will be sharing the testimonies uh, through Zoom. And uh, we look forward to also uh, uh, share with you today. So if you're free, uh, please join us. And we leave you today with Psalms 2713. Uh, when King David the Psalmist say, I shall be confident to say this, oh, that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Our hope and our wish and our prayers and our best wishes to you today, that you shall see the goodness of the Lord in, in the, the land of, of the living. living. From the studio here in Turek in Suba, we say have a blessed Sunday. In Jesus' name, amen.